yourself calling the game any differently when Will Howard is a quarterback compared to Adrian Martinez? Uh, I would say a little bit. You know, obviously, uh, uh, you know, there there is some uh, different styles in their, you know, in, in their running ability. Um, you know, I, I kind of uh, know and, and have gotten to know more of what, you know, uh, some of the calls and situations that Adrian really likes versus uh, a lot of them are the same. But then there's, you know, there's some differences in certain pass concepts that, uh, you know, Will, Will feels comfortable that's, that's different. So, uh, you know, just trying to visualize and, and, okay, if I'm them and as we've worked through the week and how to prepare things of, you know, what, what's best suit, suited to them in that situation and uh, let, let them do their thing. Do anything different after this first four Will Howard possessions? Is it just shut off after that? No, no. I think you know it. It, it came down to a uh, you know a couple uh, key plays on on those two possessions really, and uh, you know weren't able to uh, convert and, and stay on the field. You know, and, and uh, schematically, no, it was it was not anything that was uh, you know that was different than what we were expecting in those situations. Uh, you know, we just weren't able to get it done. In the half possession, you throw one horizontally, I'm trying to recall the second play, and then you get uh, left in a third and 11. Yeah. Uh, just what are you looking to get out of those first two plays? Yeah, no, I'm trying to not be in third and long, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, and, and on that, the first one was a smoke into the boundary, trying to get four to six, and uh, you know, uh, d didn't get that. And then they were really running with our jet sweeps, you know, and, and I mean, the will linebacker on that play runs outside the front side tackle and, and we're inches away from, from splitting it on that play to hopefully get you in, in a better situation. And then, uh, you know, obviously you're sitting there in third and long and, uh, you know, right there at midfield was in a, uh, was in a double look situation and was contemplating, you know, Hey, do you take a shot here? Or do you try to get manageable? Cause you're in four down, to go territory too, at, you know, and uh, you know, in that deal, and obviously we weren't able to uh, to get it done. What was the number you're looking for as far as a field goal in that direction with the wind? Oh, you know, I mean, it, it would have had to. We, we would have definitely had to get inside the 30. I mean, we were going to need a first down. You know what I mean? So it was, it was, hey, let's try to sequence to get to a fourth down and manageable, or hey, let's see if we can throw for it and get it, and and you know that type of deal. So it was a. You know, two trains of thought, and, and obviously it didn't work. So, play <laughs> where Jake threw the interception. What what went wrong on that one? Yeah, no, it's uh, you know, uh, it was uh, trying to do a, a max protection, kind of move the pocket a little bit for him, three level stretch, and you know, I, I it was very clear. And you know, after the first play, I mean, there, there was nine guys in the box, you know, and, and wanted to give him a uh, you know a three level stretch play and. Uh, you know, it was basically zero coverage, and uh, you know. But again, it's it, he was in a very, very hard situation when you're on your heels, on the road, having to uh, you know deal with some of those dynamics and and uh, you know some tough situations. And you know, I uh, uh, tough deal. Where has uh, Will Howard made the biggest leap from year two to now year three? Oh, I, I think just um, you know, it's uh, there, there's nothing like when you're uh, when you've been in that fire and, and you've been in those battles and, and you've been in those heated moments of games in contention games on the line having to make those judgment call decisions with confidence with full speed um, uh, you know and, and obviously having been through that you know through the first two years having worked uh, as hard as he has and prepared as well as he has to uh, again improve his craft and build uh, true confidence, you know, is in what, being able to watch him uh, build on that and go out and perform like he did was, I, I was so proud of him. Do you have an update on Ben Sennett? And if he can't go, then um, how does that kind of change the dynamic <coughs> of that position? Yeah, no, I think, again, it's still uh, still day to day. You know, I, I think it's uh, probable, but we'll, you know, we'll kind of have to see on after today's practice, will tell us a lot on, on uh, uh, a lot of these guys. Not ever been a full-time starter. If you were to go, Will this would be Will Howard's third game against Oklahoma State. Ironically, yeah. does that familiarity kind of help at all? Um, you know, it's uh, 
This year's a little different. You know, they've had a lot of uh, experienced guys the last few years that have moved on, so they're a little bit different personnel-wise. Obviously, a new D coordinator, so they're uh, yes, there's similarities, but there's more differences this year than there would have been from like 20 to 21, if that makes sense. You've seen the numbers on Oklahoma State's defense on third down. Yep. How, how, how daunting is that? You know, it, it, it's exciting. You know, and, and honestly, that's, uh, I mean, it's been a point of emphasis for, the, you know, for us, you know, the last few weeks because we have struggled in that area and, and to, to be able to stay on the field. And, uh, you know, what a great challenge, you know, and, and that's how our guys are looking at it. And, and uh, yeah, they're really good on defense. They've got, uh, they play extremely physical. They're aggressive. They tackle well, uh, you know, but uh, shoot, everybody in our league is, uh, you know, is, is good defensively and a great chance for our guys to step up and, and uh, um, you know, I, I and we need to put a good plan together and make sure they're in good position. Twice with Cade Warner against TCU. Why? Why was him out of an end around a, a good play for you guys? You know, it was it was kind of one of those things that he just happened to be at that X position. Um, you know, in in the flow of the game. Um, uh, you know, and he did a great job. You know, I mean, he shoot, he, he uh, got us in manageable and got a first down. I think on the one. So, uh, you know, sometimes uh, we we try to put him. Obviously, exactly, you know, but sometimes in a situation based on subs, tired, someone gets winded, et cetera, it, it can happen. A couple games. Um, where is he at physically, and what do you guys need from him heading into this week? I mean, shoot, we, we, we just need him to be himself. You know, I mean, he, he is a, he's an absolute warrior. You know, I think, uh, um, you know, would say his progress is better this week than it was last week, but he's, I mean, he you know he played really well last week too. So uh, he just needs to be he needs to be Deuce. As a guy who's played hurt a quarterback before, does that make you think at all now when you're calling plays for your quarterbacks? If if they are injured and dealing with stuff, do you call less <clears throat> runs? Do you call more passes? Does that enter your mind at all? You know, it's it's one of those things that I think from a player standpoint. You know, you just you get into that battle mindset, right? That you just you start going and and you don't really think about it until it's something that gets to the point where it holds you back, and then it's, you know, debilitating. Um, you know, from a coach's standpoint, yeah, you try to manage it, but then you get in the flow too. You know, and it's kind of you got to just feel how he's doing. And I mean, I'll never forget. I mean, I remember before Texas A and M my junior year, and Dana said, yeah, you know, we'll. We'll manage it, you know, and was dinged up and whatever. And 35 carries later, I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know, so but but we won, you know, and it was obviously four overtimes. And, you know, so it's it's one of those things that everybody's just scratching and clawing, trying to do the best they can. And uh, obviously, we'll take care of them and, and uh, do what we can. So you guys, ran, you guys ran 23 plays in the second half. Is it tough to get in their rhythm with that few uh, possessions? Absolutely, you know, absolutely, you know, and, and they, to, to their credit, they were able to stay on the field and, and do what we do to a lot of people, you know, at, at times, and that's, it, it does, I mean, it, uh, <clears throat> you know, affects your rhythm and, uh, you know, but that, that's no excuse, I mean, when it's, when, when we're on the field, we got to think, hey, we got to find a way to, to move the ball down the field and score and, and get it done, and it doesn't matter if we've not been on the field, been on the field, things are going well, it's your, First quarterback, your third quarterback, what you know, whatever situation, you know, I I believe in all of our guys. All of our guys bust their butts and, and are in it, and and it's about finding a way in in those critical situations because it is, it's a it's a game of inches, and and when you uh, you know you just got to find them. It's like where the game ended for the amount of success that Will Howard had in that first half. Is there a lot of confidence that can kind of be taken from that for for him and but and you as a play caller moving in? The next game? No, I, I think absolutely. I think, and, and that's for this whole season. You know, I mean, you never uh, losing stinks. I mean, it's it, it, it's it's painful. It's it doesn't matter, you know, who plays good, who doesn't play good, because it's about just finding a way to get over the hump to just get it done. You know, but but, you know, I think in in what our focus, my focus, our players' focus, and from Coach Kleiman, we we've got to be thinking, hey, it's about getting better. It's about competing better. It's about eliminating some mistakes, being better fundamentally, uh, all of those things. And you do that, and, and th there's times like that that can be, uh, you can make progress in those areas even in a loss, you know? And, and it's, uh, 
uh, you have to be focused on those things because then you know then you'll find those inches in those key games. So absolutely, I, I think we're there were some strides made in some areas. Uh, obviously, didn't wasn't enough to get it done.